Basketball, you betcha. We are back. And we're back with more, of course. It's the Daily Trainer. I wasn't going to leave you hanging. Not at all. How was the workout yesterday? I hope it was good for you. Hope it was good to you. Remember, this is Basketball You, and we have all the information for you and strictly for you to be better, to be more knowledgeable about the game and just be able to do all the things that you want to as a basketball player. So again, we have another workout for you and your tryouts and all your preseason needs or if you're in the season these are good workouts for you before uh practice or even after practice so again you may not be able to do the full workout but you can take a piece of the workout and work on it on the side whether it's five minutes 10 minutes 15 or 20 right whatever you can do remember just the little bit or the one percent can make you that much better all right so going into the workout we are going to start with mic and drill layups okay remember you can go off of one foot make a right hand layup get it out of the basket then go off your left foot and so forth and so forth and just keep on making layups we're going to go 10 with the right hand 10 with the left hand on the makes then we have our basic layups that we're going to do and then we're also going to work on our jump stop with our layups and then in the mic in two, you're going to do a right hand reverse and left hand reverse. If that's too much for you, don't worry about it. Skip it and go to the basic layups. OK, as we continue through this process, we are going to get into shooting. Now, this shooting is going to be different than yesterday's shooting. OK, so instead of just standing and doing form shooting, we're going to go right into it right off the dribble. And this is where you're going to work on the momentum of your shot. Right. So you're going full speed as you dribble up close range and you're working on being able to stop and get the flow into your shot. OK, so when you stop, a lot of the times when we're dribbling full speed, we tend to move forward or we tend to be off balance. So we want to work on our balance, be on balance and shoot with our perfect form. OK, our younger players may be push shooting, which is OK, but make sure you're getting arc on the ball. And then our older players, make sure you're shot ready and get it in your shot pocket, along with getting the ball up before you get into your motion so that you're not pushing the ball too hard up against the backboard and remember the close range shot is going to be a little bit higher in your shot pocket opposed to lower when you're shooting a three-point shot so you want to be aware of that and on this each spot you're going to make 10 right i know it seems like a lot but it's only like four or five spots depending on what you have available to you whether it's a court outside or it's somewhere in your front yard just label four to five spots about two to three feet apart from each other so that you can practice those different ranges of shots okay no three pointers today Let's get about to the middle of the free throw line or the middle-ish area of a mid-range shot and go from there. Okay, let's make shots consistently because that's what's important, right? Consistency. Then you're going to do a little around the world shooting. Okay, remember that is making five shots from each spot and you're just going to go from the block couple different hash marks then you got two spots in the middle the couple hash marks and then the block again okay then once you make it from the block you're going all the way back around okay then once you go around you'll be done okay and then feel free to shoot free throws as well because those are great for adding more points to your point total that is if you make the team you're trying out for okay so keep that in mind free throws are just as important as anything else we're doing here on the court and now we're going to get into stationary dribbling yes why aren't we moving yet because we don't need to we're doing all of our running and our conditioning through our layups and our shooting right now so in stationary dribbling we're going right back to it let's get down with the right hand pound okay dribble low dribble low how low can you go that's what we want to see. Remember, this is going to be a minute each. And you're going to go right hand dribble. You're going to put it middle of your knee. 
and you're going to make sure you pound it and keep pounding the ball. Really, that is just the most important thing that you want to do is keeping that hand on top of the ball so that you can have control. If you lose it, don't pick it up. Keep your dribble. Get the rhythm back into your dribble. Then we got a right hand pound dribble high. Then you're going to go left hand pound dribble low. Then we're going to go left hand pound dribble medium or to your knee. And we're going to go left hand pound dribble high. Okay, remember, don't stand tall. We still want to be in an athletic stance and we still want to show that we got that control. Okay, then we got our V dribbles again like we did yesterday. And we're going right hand, we're going left hand. Remember, this is a minute long. We got crossover dribbles and then we're going to add our in and out crossover dribble. Okay, so we want to add that in and out flow almost like a V dribble, but we want to tighten it up just a little bit more. And then we want to work on the snapping across. Okay, snap with the cross. And then we're just gonna work the between between, okay, just to get a little fancy. Remember, it's nothing too major in regards to difficulty. It is a simple dribbling drill. You're just putting your leg basically in front of you and you're crossing the ball over. That's all really through the legs dribble is. When we first start trying to dribble through the legs, the first thing we think about is like the move and trying to get the ball under our leg. But really, it's just stepping in front of that ball, putting it through, and then being able to put it back. So I want you to get comfortable with putting the ball through your legs and bringing it back through your legs. So then the transition with the crossover is going to be much easier. Or the transition with the ball popping up and you taking off with just the through the legs dribble is going to be a little bit more consistent for you too and you won't lose the ball or you won't leave it behind okay so that's what we're looking for on our dribbling today all right we'll get on the move probably later in this week and then we have our conditioning everybody's favorite part of the day you guys better not be skipping on this conditioning i'm telling you how important it is if you want to be better than the guy that you see dunking the ball making all the shots making all the layups you won't be able to do any of that but i'll tell you what you will be able to be in better shape than them because most of those players rely so much on their athletic ability and their talents that they've worked on over time like you are now that they won't work as hard so if you can be the hardest worker on the floor, this will give you an opportunity to level the playing field. Once they get tired, all that dunking, all that jump shooting, ah, 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 won't be happening. And you'll be zooming up that court, getting open layups, okay? So let's be sure to do our liners today. Let's do five sets. Remember, liners are going to be from the baseline of the free throw line, baseline to half court, Baseline to the other free throw line, baseline to baseline, okay? And every time you touch one of those spots, you're coming back, okay? So I don't want you to just run to those spots and then run to the next spot, okay? Definitely going to make the conditioning more intense as I will film a video of some different things and some other conditioning that you can do as well. I think we're gonna throw a little bit of defense in there because if you guys aren't getting buckets, then you need to guard somebody. So we're gonna throw in some defense today, but make sure you get this conditioning in, make sure you get these liners. And that is going to wrap up the workout today. Again, I'm just visiting with you to go through it. There'll be a point in time where I'm on there and I'm actually doing the full workout with you. Uh, I gotta get in shape for that, you know? So I don't wanna be out of breath and then we're out here taking water breaks on video, you know what I mean? So basketball you, thank you for tuning in as you always do. We are past the 8,000 mark, so thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. You guys have done a great job of just really being here consistently, asking questions, and also probably been spreading the word and haven't even told me, but been telling other people. So that's great. So to reach 8,000 is great. And so I'm, I'm actually excited about that and looking forward to hitting 10K, man, where we really start taking off into another world of developing the Basketball You community. But there's one thing I want you to remember. Someone's always working. Are you?